Hello and what's up Vikings? My name is Roger and today I'm going to teach you all about how to capture and breed pigs in Valheim. If this is your first time here, remember that you must subscribe to enter Valhalla. So please do so if you haven't already. Thank you so much. First thing you're going to want to do is gather as many mushrooms and berries as you can. I'd say 20 to start and 100 or more to sustain your pigs and keep them happy so they breed. Second, you're going to want to build something similar to this fenced in area with either a door that closes or be in build mode so you can close the fence in as he passes through it. Third, you're going to want to give the boar a little love tap so he chases you into the fenced in area and close him in. Don't go away yet because there's more. Okay, so you're going to want to throw two or three mushrooms, raspberries, or blueberries into the pen before you go hit the pig and have him chase you. Otherwise, he probably won't go inside. It might take a minute, but you will start to see little yellow hearts over the boar, and a percentage number starting to show 1% all the way through 100%. It may take a few days, but if you visit and feed them every day, it will go faster. Also, my advice is to make a second fenced in area next to this one to catch your second pig, or this one will immediately run out and ruin everything. Also, don't forget that the durability on your fence will lose durability the more the pig hits them. So you're going to want to run, do a run by and repair it every day to make sure that he doesn't break out, or use a better fence than this one. Don't go away yet guys, because there's a lot more. Okay Vikings, so at this second pen, I'm going to show you something strange. I have two pigs in this pen, two boars, and neither of them was tamed yet. And as I run in here and say hi to them and feed them for the day, I notice that there's a tamed boar inside this small enclosed area with them. Which means that the two untamed boars that were in here for probably weeks and weeks, and I just forgot to feed them, eventually they just had a... A baby and it grew up and was tamed even though you'll see that one of them's at 86 percent and one of them's at like 80 percent they still had a baby so I'm very confused by this um, anyways yeah let's go to the third and fourth pens real quick all right friends this is pen number three now I know that there's one bore in this pen that's at about 98 percent and I want to show you what it's like when one of them hits 100% and gets tamed. So here we are. Alright, so this boar is at 99%. He's very close to turning. I just need to stay in here in close proximity to him for a little bit until he turns to 100%. Without him killing me, of course. All right, sweet. Now that these two are tamed, they'll start breeding and we can have lots of little piglets. And I'll also open up this area with the third boar and he can jump in on the action too and we can get even more little piglets. Now let's head over to pen number four, the biggest one, and I'll show you what's going on over there. Okay, so this pen has gone through about four renovations and grown into what we have here. Currently, there's about 30 to 40 boars all tamed, with more piglets coming every few days. I have not slaughtered any of them yet. Maybe I will if it gets too hard to feed them. Right now, I'm planning on just having fun with them, and my goal is to see if I can get over 100 boars in this location. Okay, so now I have a few additional pieces of advice for you that I learned the hard way. Number one, if you're serious about breeding them, you can't keep fire of any kind anywhere within a mile of them. Not even inside a structure. 
they can smell it or they can see through walls. I don't know what kind of weird boar senses they got going on, but it will take you weeks or months longer to tame them with fire nearby. Number two, the percentage to tame them goes up mainly directly after feeding when you can see the little yellow hearts coming out. If you can time how long it takes for them to show hunger, you can tame them pretty fast. Number three, don't keep your workbench inside the boar pen until after they are all tame, or they will tar target that first and destroy it. After all your boars are tamed, and one of them lets out a big old squeal, it's usually because they're giving birth. Try to catch it if you can. It's pretty gruesome. I won't ruin it for you by showing it. Okay, fellow Vikings. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but I'm positive you can do this. If you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments. I always love to answer any questions people have. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next adventure.